Hi there, this is Smart Movie on the Nokia N97. Videos will appear as thumbnails in a row of 2x3 in landscape or 4x2 in portrait. Under each thumbnail you've got the video title, the video length, and the file size. If you tap on the thumbnail you'll notice a slideshow appears with scenes from the video and the title scrolls if it's long enough. Smart Movie's appearance depends on the theme, so when you change your theme, so does Smart Movie. Smart Movie's got kinetic scrolling which helps a lot if you've got many videos. It's also got this nice feature where if you long press over a thumbnail the circle comes up giving you options to rename, look at file details, delete, play the video. If you touch outside the circle it disappears. So long press again and click outside the circle. To play a video just double tap on the screen. To adjust the volume, fast forward or rewind Tap somewhere on the screen, and adjust the volume here, and jump across the timeline, or you can scroll. When you're scrolling you'll notice a window appearing showing you exactly where you are, but when you take your finger off, on your knees in the that's where you'll be. Store. Pause or exit the video, double tap on the screen, click files, when you exit the video, and open up Smart Movie again, by default, We'll resume playback. Smart Movie is one of the rare applications for your N87 that actually uses the QWERTY keyboard for shortcuts. And it doesn't simply just port over the keypad to the numbers row. The D-pad allows for the basic control. Rewind, fast forward, and adjust the volume. And play a pause. You can also play a pause using the spacebar or the end button. Z allows you to zoom, which is particularly useful when your video doesn't exactly fill up the screen. E shows you file details. G and V just the brightness. H and B adjust the saturation, G and N adjust contrast, and if your audio doesn't match up to the video you can adjust it with K and N. Um, L shows the timeline, and the delete exits. You can also use the D-pad in the video menu, delete, let's see, delete the video. Oh yeah, you can access configuration settings by pressing C. So you can adjust things like showing the time, showing the seat bar, other settings that you can do with the hardware keys. Alternatively, you can get the same settings by double tapping, or from the main menu by going to Tools, Configuration. Smart Movie can play MP4V, FLV, and 3GP videos. I mainly use Smart Movie to play my .divx and .avi movies, as well as clips I've taken from YouTube. Here's an example of a .flv clip from YouTube. As you can see, it treats it exactly like a video. Smart Movie can play MP4 videos of the H.264 variety. However, it does have problems playing the H.263 MP4 videos that the N87 captures. This isn't really a loss for me, as I prefer to keep recorded videos out of the Smart Movie Player. If you have an incompatible video that you want Smart Movie to play, you can use the Smart Movie Mobile Video Converter. Just drag the video in, select the phone, and press Convert. 
this is a sample of a converted video. By default, Smart Movie is set to recognize every single compatible file type on your phone memory, mass memory, and memory card. To manage your videos better, you can go to Tools, Configuration, and choose the specific folders the Smart Movie will recognize. Made specific folder in the Videos folder called Smart Movie, and that's where I put all my videos. As you'll see, only these videos are showing up now. He has emotional problems. Oh, I have those too. What kind of emotional problems does your dad have? There's a guard. I'll snap his neck. His name is Robert Paulson.